standing at this place be closed. Community organizers are collecting online signatures on a petition to close the Elizabeth Nursing and Rehabilitation Center on Grove Street in Elizabeth. You have a family member in here? I have an aunt. Your aunt's That's in her here? Sis her sister. Your sister? How uh -huh. is she? Is she okay? So we yes, yeah. she, she, she is. Family members who cannot get in to see their 72-year-old loved one. Do you feel like the conditions inside are safe for your aunt? No. No, they're not? No, I don't think so. Even before the coronavirus crisis, health inspectors observed mistakes inside this nursing home that can spread infection, like reusing gauze that fell on the floor. And they found the 102 bed facility repeatedly failed to communicate with families when their loved one was taken to a hospital. <laughs> In July of 2019, the director of nursing told an inspector, quote, I have to be honest, we're not doing that. Today, coronavirus has only amplified the home's problems. The communication is horrible. Shut this facility down. Our people are dying here. Today, the state announced they sent an inspector into an unnamed nursing home at 2 a.m. over the weekend to investigate complaints. If there is a facility that's at risk, they will be visited. The state has banned 123 nursing homes from taking new residents because they cannot separate the sick. They're providing over 200 volunteer nurses to help. An additional 90 VA nurses are headed to veterans homes in Paramus and Menlo Park, also besieged by the virus. 23 new deaths were reported at nursing homes statewide today, three of them in Paramus, where a total of over 20 have died. Statewide, New Jersey cases and deaths are soaring, with more than 4,000 new positives and 365 deaths, our biggest one-day death toll reported. But some of those deaths may have actually occurred in the past several days. More than 8,000 New Jerseyans are hospitalized, about 2,000 in ICU, 500 or so have been able to go home. The governor signed a new law today to extend family leave for those caring for the sick. The governor also asked for patience when it comes to unemployment claims. The staff at the Department of Labor are dealing with literally unprecedented volumes of applications. By the way, you asked me what is unprecedented. How does this sound? 576,904 applications in just the past three weeks.